Hello, all my fabulous students. I am so proud of you and all the hard work that you've been doing. You should be really proud of yourselves as well. The focus of this week's creative movement lessons is expressing emotion through the art of dance. The many emotions that we feel every day can change from moment to moment. And during this time, when we're not in school, we're spending a lot more time at home and with the people in our household. Some of us may be really enjoying this time, while some of us could be finding it a little more difficult. Maybe it changes day by day. And I want to really present to you an opportunity for you to express yourself through movement and describe the ways that you've been feeling. So the lesson extension for this week, week six, is to choose um, three words to describe your movement. You can do this in two different ways. You can either choose three emotion words, write them down, think about them, and then create a dance or perform a dance that has those three words in mind. So it portrays those three emotion words. That's the first way, writing three words down and then doing the dance. Or your second option is you can do some free dance and some movement. I recommend not using music and I'll tell you why. So doing some free dance movement and then recording that watching yourself do that movement and describing the movement using three of the emotion words. Now, if you look at the word bank on um, our week six lessons, you will see many words that you can choose from for emotion words, for feelings, or you can even choose your own. The words don't have to relate to each other at all, but the words will relate to your movement. Okay, so two options, one, Choose your words first and then dance, or option two, dance and then choose your words to describe the movement. It's totally up to you. For the example that you're about to see, the one that I did, I chose my three words first and then I wrote them down, I thought about them for a while, and then I began moving with them in mind. So. The reason that I recommend not using music is because music can really influence the way that we feel, which is one of the best parts about music, right? I know if I'm feeling down and I put on some of my favorite music and I start dancing and moving around, I end up feeling so much better afterwards. It makes me really happy. Or it can make me just feel really relaxed and that is a positive as well. So with this lesson, I wanna give you a chance to express yourself, to listen to your heart, let your body just guide you. There are no wrong answers as always. Whatever you are doing, however you are learning through this, you are doing a fantastic job, fabulous. Keep up the wonderful work and as always, feel free to message me with any questions that you have and I am here to help, okay? So, the three words that I chose for my movement example are growth, perspective, and hope. Those were the three words that I chose to go along with my dance. I chose my words first. You're about to see the movement. When you're done watching, please just take a chance to do this for yourself. So have fun with it, enjoy, let your heart be your guide, and have fun moving and grooving as always. All right, I'll see you next time.